everyone. Welcome to Neutron Viz Academy. Today I would like to share the highlighted new features of D5 Render version 2.7. First of all, I would like to thank the D5 Render team for their hard working on the amazing updated features. There are 35 new features and enhancements. Among them, I would like to highlight the most amazing features and share how to use them. The first one is AI makes seamless and ultra HD texture. I will test with this low resolution texture. It has only 500 pixels and it is also not a seamless texture. You can find the AI function button here. When I click the make seamless button, the preview box appear. We need to define where is the seam line problem. In this case, I choose both horizontal and vertical edges. As we click the make seamless button, AI will automatically solve the problem and we will get this result. Moreover, we can enhance the resolution by clicking Ultra HD Texture. This will convert the low resolution texture to high resolution 1. Let's check the converted resolution. The texture resolution is now converted to 2K resolution. After converting to high resolution, I found some seamless problems. So I click the Make Seamless button again. Well done, it is solved. Then I click the Ultra HD texture again. It's still working. Let's check the resolution. Wow, it is now 4K. That's cool. You can see the before and after here. The second enhancement is updated D5GI. The ray bounces are calculated more accurately. We can see how the bounce light carries the object color exactly. It is very detailed calculation on ray bounces. Impressive! Moreover, the GI calculations on shadow areas are improving a lot. Here are some comparisons between old and new version. The third improvement is optimized grass. Three new grasses have been added, and so there are six types of grass. Moreover, it filled the edges exactly. D5 Render not only solved the filling edges problem, but also add more grasses. That's great! The another enhancement is Scatter Assets. You can find it on D5 Assets Library under Scatter Assets. To use the global assets, you need to select the presets that you want first, and then pick the area that you want to fill. Then you just need to click Create button. There are eight global presets for flower beds. You can also adjust the scale and orientation by adjusting the parameters. You can find the global assets for lawn and forest in the Scatter Assets category. You just need to select a preset, click the area, and then click the Create button. The global assets divide the area by color map to different areas. I will explain in depth later. You can adjust each component by selecting the corresponding sub-area. You can see the quality of global assets here. Super realistic! The another new tool is Scatter Tool. To scatter the area, you need to choose the Add Scatter Tool and then select the area you want to scatter and then click Create. There are three ways to scatter. The first one is Scatter using Content Preset. Click the Content Preset icon and choose the Content Preset labeled with Content Preset icon from Assets Library. This will fill the whole area with the Content Preset that you chose. The second method is by using Nature Assets Library. To use this, you need to click the Nature button. Then choose the plants that you want to scatter from the Nature Library. This will fill the whole area with plants that you added. You can adjust the distribution pattern by changing the distribution map. There are so many preset distribution maps. The white area represent the plant area and black area represent the empty area. Let's choose a map. You can see how the map works here. I want to make a custom distribution map, so I take screenshot the scene from top view, then create new file in Photoshop, and then paste it. I need to crop the landscape area and enhance the resolution a bit. 
Then, I define the area by using brush tool. As I mentioned above, the white area for plant zone and the black for empty zone, and then save the map. And then add this into the custom distribution map. We need to change the map type into UV and then rotate 90 degrees to get desired orientation. I apply this to scatter area for grass, and then add another scatter area for the tree and use same distribution map. I also add another scatter area for dead leaves to look more realistic. Finally, I get this result. The last scatter method is area division method. This is the method I like most. To use this method, we need to make a color map first. Please keep in mind that each color will represent an area on your landscape. I use five different colors for this tutorial and divide my landscape into five different areas. Then we need to save the map. I select the scatter tool, click the landscape area, and then click create. Then we need to click area icon and choose image divide. We also need to define the area number. In this case, enter five. This will divide the landscape area into five different zones based on the color map. We can use the preset color map. For now, I will use custom map that I created earlier. You can see how the color map divides the area. There are five sub areas and we can check by selecting each area. We can add one or more nature assets to each sub area. I added the different plants for different area. Here is the final result. Everything is in your hands. The another improvement is the light orientation control. There is a control point for light direction and we can easily control and animate the light direction. There are new templates for camera movement. For example, spiral pan. We can easily create and control this kind of camera movement just in seconds. There are new models in asset library. Among them, the low poly models in stylized category are super cool. These are the highlighted new features of D5 render version 2.7. There are other enhancements and improvements that I was not mentioned. We should try the Pro version to get full functions and powerful tools of D5 Render. Thanks for watching the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.